Hello and welcome to my next tutorial about Prepomex. This time I will show you how to analyze a cantilever beam subjected to bending due to its own weight. As always, let's create a new model first and define the unit system and now I can import the geometry using step file format. The geometry is already imported so I can create a mesh. I will specify the meshing parameters. Uh, I will use maximum element size of 5mm and accept this and now I can create the mesh. The mesh is already created so I can proceed to the analysis setup. Uh, let's start from the material definition. Uh, this will be steel material, just like in previous tutorials. Uh, and I will specify elastic behavior first. Uh, I will use the same uh, values of Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio as always. Uh, and I will, now I also have to add density. Mm, and that's uh, what we have also done in the previous tutorial. And that's because uh, both centrifugal loads uh, and gravitational loads require uh, the definition of density. And so I have to provide the, the value right here. And you can see that density we'll use for this calculation is shown here. Just I just have to change the units. Uh, so be careful with the units as always. Mm, and the value uh, is right here. I will accept this. Mm, and now I have to create a section, assign it to the beam and confirm. Now I can create a step and this will be a static step with default settings. And now I can add boundary conditions and loads. This is a cantilever beam, uh, so let's fix this at one end. Uh, I will apply a fixed constraint here uh, and accept this. Mm, and I will also have to apply load. Uh, th there's a special type of load called gravity, uh, which will serve the, the purpose for, for this calculation. Um, and I have to specify the component of, of gravity in proper direction. This will be in y direction, as you can see, minus y direction. And I also have to be careful with units because it's in millimeters per second squared. Uh, so that's the, the value right here. Uh, I can confirm this uh, and uh, before I have to ap apply this to, to the beam. And now I can confirm. Mm, as you can see, there, there's a load symbol display right here. That means that uh, gravity load will be used. And now I can submit the analysis uh, and it shouldn't take too long. As you can see, the results are already available, so let's open them and check them. Here you can see the deflection. I will switch to the proper direction to see the, the right deflection value. And let's compare this with analytical result. Uh, here's the uh, analytical result of deflection. And you can compare this with uh, the value we got here. Mm, this is pretty close to, to what we have from the analytical calculation. Uh, and let's also check stresses. Uh, here I have the maximum uh, bending stress uh, for this beam. Mm, and I will switch to, I can see the, uh, check the fall misses stress, but I will switch to uh, the right component of, of the stress. Mm, and now uh, I can use the query tool because the, the values uh, shown on the scale are affected by the boundary condition. So I can use the query tool and to check the values uh, in th those particular locations, uh, not uh, where the boundary condition is, but slightly uh, further into the beam. So we can see mm, what are the stress values uh, when compared with analytical result. They're pretty close. Of course, I could try uh, this uh, with different meshes, but the result is pretty good. And that's it for this Prepomex tutorial. Thank you very much for your attention. As always, feel free to ask any questions and suggest topics for future tutorials in the comments. Have a nice day and see you in the next video.